Where I am going, you will know the way. Thomas said to the Lord, You do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. The words of the Gospel that wipe away our sins. Please. In the name of Moses, our friend, our pastor, and our two recent friends, and all the family and base of the great part family which they deserve. I extend my sincere praise and comfort and support to you, Lord the Father, and my the brother Christine, Sister Susan, the sister, and all the ladies and all the friends close by here. Look at the one behind you, all the everyday and their face is only a few. For many of them, I have to tell you that when we come to cover, we are strengthened by our love. When we come to cover, we are strengthened by our love. Though we lose our physical, physical, but then the love which he left with the love which for him, for the for him, God, God had sacrificed some for us, and the love by which he is now walking towards the eternal kingdom, as in today's gospel, says so clearly, in my father's house, in my father's house, there are many places. When Jesus saw the father's house, that means we know it well in our parents' house. In, the, in, a, in this earthly uh, uh, houses we see, the children can find place at any time. At any time. We even do have a lot to be, but still the, in our home we find place. Because that is the real love of the and today's gospel, Jesus says very clearly, in Jesus' Father's house, there are many, many places. And then what is the next one? He says, I will prepare a place for you. I will prepare a place for you. That means, if he prepares a place, what is happening? He is preparing for us, then he has to take us. And they go, then all of us, moving from this world, from this world to that house, Jesus was there And then Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. I am the way, the truth and the life. Therefore, he is the way that he knows how to take him. And he is the truth. Truth is that the resurrection is there for us. The life is there for us. And the last one is I am the life. I am the life. The way, the truth and the life. Life is there is Though physically he is no more with us, as I said at the beginning, spiritually he lives. Therefore, always believe that we should not say goodbye to him. Don't say goodbye to him. Goodbye is those people who have no faith, have no faith, whereas we are faithful. Therefore, we should say to him, see you again. See you again. When we go for a journey, when we go for a journey, we say goodbye to our, our, our friends and families. And I always say, you should be goodbye. You should be see you again. And that's what it today's today we are just saying to him that uh, see you for again in our eternal home, at the home of our father. Can we find? Can we find a place? And the answer is yes. Therefore, can he find a place in his father's house? 
answer is yes. Two reasons because God is our Father. Second one, He is the Son of the Father. Son of the Father. That's what, that's what when you got into the church for the, for the baptism, the priest of the people. And he gave him everything for all the sacrament of the church. And therefore, he was so much connected to, uh, to, to Mary and to the class in every way. And that was uh, the connection to that eternal home. And the when he was brought to this church by you for the baptism of that day, God the Father proclaimed him. For you are my beloved son. And all throughout his life, he tried to please his father in heaven. Surely, surely, there are shortcomings because of our weaknesses, human weakness. But then, with the faith when we go to him, God has to see our weaknesses. God sees only our faith. And that's what Jesus did on the cross when he did in the midst of his suffering. When the repentance in the world was being crucified with Jesus, and he was in the Holy Spirit. When he told the Lord and said, For remember me, straight away Jesus said, Today you will be with me in paradise. And if he could provide paradise to you, that not for his family, because he was with How much more he would provide to God who was a loving son, a loving father, a caring one, a dedicated one. Helpful and us for work he did, helping out in the family and to the people. And therefore, as Jesus said in front of five of Matthew's gospel, the Beatitude, but what have you been for my brothers and sisters to do for me? And he went to chapter 25 uh, of Matthew's gospel, and when he speaks about the final judgment, what have I did? For my brothers and sisters, they did for me. Therefore, come and occupy the place which I have prepared for you. And today's gospel gives us a guarantee. Guarantee is that in my father's house there are many dwelling places. And I will come and take it myself. And that's the guarantee. I will come and take it myself. You are really hard to lose your son. Surely, I, I have seen my mom was grieving me because uh, we lost our eldest one when she was 22. So I have, I have seen how the mother is the parents, especially the mother, grieving for the children. You surely you are grieving from your heart. But at the same time, there is a gravity for you is that uh, Mother Brady, Mother Brady stood on the foot of when her son was going to be free. And most innocent was in this world. And crowded among the criminals, that is service of sacrifice, and crucified with eternal pain. But still, Mother Mary stood in front of the cross and said, that let the will of the Father be good to me. And so, as Mary stood there, as the mother of Jesus Christ and our mother, because before the death, Jesus gave her to be our mother. And so she is there with me today. Two, coming in the heart of my, my heart of care right now, and saying to you, Lord, that I am with you. I am with you in your dream because I have gone through the terrible dream of losing my son. And so she will come to me and make you walk this way for the Jesus. And again, why we all come in the help of the Blessed Lord? So that because we have that hope, hope of seeing him again in our father's house. And that's a fact, that's a truth. That's a truth. As I said, there are so many sayings in a Catholic church and a lot of the, uh, the church officially declared that they are in heaven. Church officially declared that they are in heaven. They are Christians. 
and they are coming down eye to eye to help us to speak it. And therefore, the gathering center, that the, the, so they are happy, and you can believe it. Because this eternal tenets is shortcoming something. But at the same time, the way we live the life of faith and life of love and submit to make him true Therefore, once again, let us thank God for this great life, short but sweet. And His memory will help us to realize that He is there, seeing God's face, face to face, which is the greatest privilege that we can get. And we will see Him one day, one day, we will see Him.